All right. Uh, absolutely amazing. Many thanks for joining us. Welcome back. You're still watching Why in the Morning right here on Y254 channel. But first things first, let's get interactive. You can find us direct on our social media platforms. So that includes Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Y254 channel. And personally, you can find me at Brian Sakwana one And the hashtag to plug in on once again on the conversation, and you already asked your question right down our social media platforms, is on the hashtag Y in the morning and uh, remember in this segment it's all about entrepreneurs but today we are doing it a little bit different we are taking it in a comical way how do you incorporate food in comedy and you know there's th there's a way that you know these two things uh they don't go hand in hand but it reminded me of snoop dogg and martha stewart they had a very interesting comedy show but it's a food show but they're cracking jokes literally you should check it out so we're trying to actually like uh see how how can we do it the kenyan version now in an interesting uh way and joining us live in studio she's a very beautiful and gorgeous lady you will like her as we get into the conversation she is uh, anju khan she's a comedian a content creator and many other things as well she'll talk about that in the interview but we're going to talk about how food mixology is incorporated in comedy how can you do that uh, joining us live in the studio is uh, Anju Khan I hope I got your name right yes right, exactly. welcome thank you how are you feeling <laughs> I'm feeling good uh-huh yes I love the fact that you're from Costa but yeah. you're here in Canairo you know, do you yeah. feel like there's a change in terms of uh, the weather, the mm. environment, uh, the people? Of course, okay. when you visit a place, the first thing you notice, the people behave differently. Exactly. The weather is differently. The yeah. mannerisms yeah, are yeah. not as exactly as what you're used to. Very true. Okay, uh -huh. in terms of weather, I do prefer Nairobi weather because okay. I'm really allergic to hot weather. You're allergic to hot weather, but you come from Costa. The conditions are usually way up high. Yes, I do, but uh, I, like, I have to manage Okay. Like uh, sometimes, like you can find when it's too hot, I just have to pour um, water on myself and walk like that. <laughs> yeah. Are you saying it in a comedic way? No. <laughs> I'm like literally. Literally. Literally, yeah. like you take a jug of water and you wash out yourself. Yes. Or sometimes what I do, let's say I'm walking in the mom, uh, in the uh, like I'm walking, uh, then in Mombasa, then like the sun is too hot. Uh -huh. Then what I normally do, I go to the bank. Because there's yeah. an SE over there. Okay. So I go. Like you just pull up in any bank. <laughs> uh, any bank. As long as, like, I just pretend like I'm a customer. I go. You're on the take queue. Waiting. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So when I they, feel uh -huh. cool, then you, I continue with my you journey. You use the SE. Yes. But they'll kick you out. The security will come in. <laughs> Not really. It has never happened. It has never uh, happened like that. Because uh -huh. I've been doing that. Okay. And hmm. you've, been, you've been doing okay. So yeah. which part of Mombasa exactly? Okay, I come from Mombasa, Makadara ground. Okay. Yeah, near Posta. Wow, I missed mm. Nyali the last Nyali. time I was there. I think it was <laughs> Diani, sorry. Oh. Diani, yeah, mm -hmm. I think we went to Jomo Kenyatta, Diani. I missed oh. the environment and the people and the food as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mombasa right. food is so, so, it's something else. Which is related to what you do. Yeah. Now tell us, tell us more, tell us more about yourself. How did you find yourself into, yes, you're doing food, okay. but then you're also a, co uh, a comedian as well. How yes. did you get to this point where mm -hmm. you are interacting these two aspects? Uh -huh. Here you are. Okay. Uh, you mentioned to me something very crazy behind the scenes. Uh, please share, sh share it with us. Like, how do you incorporate these two items together? Okay, like uh, I can eat raw eggs. I can combine masala chips with the omena, chapati omena. Chapati, sukuma, raw fish, I can do raw fish, and many, many others. Okay. Yeah, like milk and soda. Okay. Uh, mm. Now, just a brief history of mm -hmm. you. Like, how did you now get into the journey before you start doing, eating raw eggs? Because uh, okay. I understand it's comedy, but there's a process to it, how you attack it. How did okay. you, like, exactly now get yourself in the sport? Yeah. So, as I, as I said before... I was uh, like when I was young I used to I used to overthink yeah like okay. what if I eat this and that why are people eating like this and not like this huh right why must it be like this and this why eat not ugali this with, uh, yeah you know yeah yam, like, instead of like ugali mm, with yeah. insects yeah <laughs> why why Trying can't he imagine. try this so like I used to try out maybe mom is cooking and okay. maybe like she's going somewhere to pick a phone I go there secretly I take raw fish, I escape. 
Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to imagine, you know, like exactly doing that. How do you even pass the raw fish in your mouth? First of all, the stench, yeah. the, the raw stench is so disgusting. Okay, what I can say, it? maybe one yeah. month's meat is another month's treasure. So okay. maybe for me it's not, but people find it disgusting. Exactly. Yeah. And, and how do your siblings take it? I'm trying to imagine like your siblings. Imagine your my dad, brother is just like me. Your brother? Yeah. Goodness. I'm the firstborn. He's uh, younger than me, so he does the same. Okay. Yeah. In fact, there's... Um, there's a, a show in Mombasa that we did, and my, uh, my, bro my brother accompanied me. He okay. also did what I did. Wow. And, and how was the reception? How, were people like giving you that people side? People were literally I, shocked. Like, others were interested wow. in it. Others were taking videos. And after the, after the stage, people were like, are you for real? Right. Oh, won't you die? Something, su such question. Like what's going to happen to your stomach? Like Nothing. Do you have bacteria, salmonella, typhi and the rest? Not really. I guess if uh, maybe you're used to something, Right. Uh, maybe, you know, it's not easy for you to get sick. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, how, how did that come to be like, like a professional? Okay, for this, like, um, okay, I've been acting before, doing comedy, then I thought of like, why can't I be different or maybe unique uh, and come like use this uh, this idea of mine in my content or let's say comedy mm -hmm. stages and such. So I thought like it's so unique, different, and it will it will entertain people. Right. Mm. Are there like places you've been to like auditioned and uh, yes. uh, 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 like you've been to competitions because yes. apart from the one you mentioned like you did it with your brother and people are mm. shocked. Did they like call you for another session to do yes. that same, same thing over and over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like uh, there's one I did it in Tuapa, another one I did it on a little theater show. Right. Then also Churchill show but on Churchill most, mostly I did uh, comedy that okay. was stand-up comedy yeah and they really loved jokes. it they really <laughs> loved it uh -huh. yeah you crack jokes now yes, oh, yes. you are cracking jokes and making yes, people laugh yes uh, and even uh, my outfit was so different uh -huh. like you know before going on stage churchill asked me like is this how you want to dress i said right. yeah because when i dress like a mad person or a comedian then i cover the full like i cover myself as a comedian but if i dress like normal then I can't give all my best. But when right. I dress dif like... Like when you disguise yourself, yeah. you appear more comedic and more yes. hilarious. And exactly. people like it yeah. when you are clowny. Yes. Oh my goodness. So I love <laughs> doing crazy stuff. Uh -huh. I love putting on crazy, you know, clowns. Attire. Yeah, attires. You know? And wow. maybe in future I'm thinking of buying, you know, Shrek. Ah. The movie Shrek. Shrek and Fiona. I'm, I'm yep. thinking of I buying that outfit and I be either Shrek. Oh my goodness. So yeah. untaka kutisha watu in short? Untaka kushitu watu hii? Wakikuona wana kimbia? No, <laughs> Shrek sinikatu nata watu hii wanapenda. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so. Uh, now, uh, when it comes now incorporating how to be funny mm -hmm. and just being a normal person, uh -huh. how do you strike that balance to a point uh, you're mm -hmm. like you're warm to the people yeah. people accept you like that's you the comedian yeah, the, yeah. the comedian and this yeah. is you the real can okay uh, how, do you like switch personality sometimes you're normal sometimes you're a comedian and okay. how do you balance that graph okay what i can say like i hardly get angry at first you hardly I, get hungry yeah uh, angry okay so i am not short tempered at all okay even if you abuse me i can't get emotional Okay, even yeah. bad comments and people I don't, bullying I don't. Yes. And, and left, right. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. ignore, but I really don't get angry. Okay. Mm. Or even, let's say, maybe uh, someone is holding a grudge with me, then I can't hold it back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, in terms of before doing comedy, I was right. my family comedian. Because oh, I used to do crazy stuff. When I was a kid, let's say my, my mom is sleeping or my granny is sleeping, and right. maybe you forget and put your mouth open, I go take some chili, I put chili in your, like I was naughty, I was disgusting. stubborn. Yeah, mm. I was okay. so stubborn, like I used to do crazy stuff a lot. Yeah. Yeah, so like um, I used to make people laugh at home right. a lot. Then even in school, I was too smart for the teachers. 
Mm -hmm. I used to Did that play. cause tension between you and, and friends as well? Actually, like you become in high school, I was too smart for teachers in that mm -hmm. uh, I could remove crocodile tears. I can come up with fake stories. And convince and people. Yeah, because I was a chronic it. absentee. Aha. Uh -huh. So you had to look for a mask. Yes, wow. to cover me. And you I, survived. And the reason I was uh -huh. a chronic absentee was, uh, okay, in Form 1 and 2, I wasn't. I used to study well, but the school uh, my parents kept me in, I really didn't like it because I got mm -hmm. good marks. Yeah. So, like, you know, if you don't like something, you try anyway mm -hmm. to get to out get of it. Yeah. It. Mm -hmm. So I was an absentee. Okay. Like in Form 3, I can remember I only went to school 32 days, only for exams. Mm -hmm. The rest of the days, where were you at? <laughs> in the gym. Good luck. Yeah. Working to get muscles or to? No, th uh, those days I used to do gym courses. Because oh, my yeah. whole interest was to be a gym a trainer gym at that time. Yeah. Okay. Mm. A yoga uh, trainer, Zumba trainer. Right. Yeah. So you, in short, you're a mix of so many other professions. Yeah, like I am a multi-talented in short. Right. Mm. Excellent. Fantastic. Thank now, how does you. it make you feel from from a, a mental health perspective? I can only imagine you're doing all these stunts, uh -huh. yet you there's there's now the real you when you're when you're sleeping at night in uh -huh. alone in your bed. That's uh -huh. when reality sinks in. Yeah. You're reflecting about yourself, yeah, uh, yeah. your identity. How yeah. do you feel? Okay, I feel like. Maybe I am blessed, mm -hmm. yeah, because uh, I do a lot of things. I do cooking, I do, I do fitness, um, I do acting and comedy. Right. Yeah. Now, let's, let's shift gears now to your cooking part. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe what are some of the recipes that you cook and, okay, and where do you cook? Uh -huh. uh, do you have like a shop? Do okay. you compete also? Have you done food competitions as well, cooking games? Okay, um. I started cooking when I was nine years old. Okay. And I, like, uh, I never wanted mom to teach me cooking because it's not? a modern technology. Everything is, in, is on YouTube. Okay. Not only that, remember I'm an overthinker. So I used to think, ah. eh? if mm -hmm. chapati remains, how, how can I recycle it? If ugali remains, how can I recycle? Right. Such thoughts made me yeah. come up with my own recipes okay. to recycle chapati, to recycle ugali, to recycle bread, and many other stuffs. Right. Yeah. So your main, your, like your, your main selective meals, what are some of the main selective meals that you cook? Okay, like kati roti. Kati roti is uh, chapati recycled to another product called kati roti. Then ugali, when ugali remains, what, we do, what I do, like I, I cut it into slices, I put masala on top, uh, lemon, salt, then I fry it. Or I either make bajia, ugali bajia, ugali and bajia. ugali chapati. <laughs> I can also cook ugali chapo. Ah. Yeah. In terms of bread, let's say bread has expired and it just got a little bit fungus, you cut mm. the area and you turn it to gulab jamun. Wow. <coughs> it's, a, it's an Indian sweet, but I thought of using um, bread, right. like wasted bread, to turn it to gulab jamun. Also rice, let's say a lot of rice remained, I can make it kheer. Wow, <laughs> I'm floating. <coughs> now, uh, um, my, qu my question again to you is, who yes. eats these foodstuffs that you're cooking? Okay, like oh, the foodstuff I cook are really nice and people do enjoy a lot. My, my family eats, my friends eat, yeah. Because I'm thinking ugali bajia. Yeah. Who, who is eating ugali bajia? Dad, mom, everybody, brother? Everybody. Even my aunties, my uncles, dinner everybody. Is like, hello guys, <coughs> welcome to dinner, ugali bajia. Here yes, we go. Yes, exactly. Wow. Please don't forget to share videos. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget because I, I can only imagine how that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and what else now? Do you have like a shop people come to buy no, your food no. stuff? Or it's mainly family and that's it? Okay, it's family and I'm thinking of turning it to programs. Okay. Where I will be sharing more ideas in terms of uh, cooking and stuff. Yeah. Right. Mm. Um, there's, there's one of your videos I was watching uh -huh. where you, I, I don't know what, 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 what you're eating in the video. I don't want to imagine, but please <laughs> tell us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tell us what you're eating in the video. I was like, wah, wah, <laughs> wah, wah. Lord of mercy. <laughs> take the wheel. Don't even take the wheel. Take the please whole car. Drive <laughs> it. 
Take the whole car, Jesus. <laughs> Drive it. Please and don't, don't remind me of that video. <laughs> don't take the wheel. Was it take Ugali, soda, and uh, tea mixed? Exactly. I was like, <laughs> are you. <laughs> what was happening? Yeah? What was going on? Please <laughs> explain to us what was happening in that situation. <laughs> Nothing. It was okay. The uh, the title of the uh, of the short story was yeah. when the girlfriend pays the bill. Yeah. Yeah. So my boyfriend uh, took me to a restaurant, whereby uh, he asked me to order something. So I ordered ugali, tea, and soda. And he he ordered only toothpick because um, he had no money, like not enough money. And I od I ordered three items. So he was like, okay, go on and eat. After eating, so I mixed everything, by the way, ugali, soda, and, uh, and tea, hot tea, and cold soda with ugali. I mixed and ate. After eating, uh, he was to pay the bill, but I took his money. I told him, as a good girlfriend, I'm going to pay the bill. So I took his money. I removed out my money. I gave the waiter out my money. Then... The same money that I took from him, I kept it in my you pocket. You kept it? In my pocket. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to, to make the logic here. You're taking his money to uh -huh. pay the bill, but then you're not going to use his money to pay the bill. Yes. You keep it and use yours to pay the bill. Yes. <laughs> so I'm indirectly... What is that? Okay, <laughs> that's that's that, is, that yeah. is like, okay, I'm telling, like you're paying, yeah? Okay. So I take that money. I say, I will pay the bill. So yeah. I remove my money. I give it to the waiter. Waiter. Then I take... You are the, the one I took and, from and keep it and keep it. So in, it's like indirectly saying yeah. that I paid, but uh, indirectly it's, it's you who paid. He, it's, it's I or him mm. who paid. Mm. But uh, that's the dilemma now. Uh, like, why did you ask for, for the money to pay and then, you, okay, you know, like it's I'm like trying to it's be compensation good. now. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm trying to be good to my boyfriend, but indirectly, hmm. yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> now, uh, when, it, when it comes to feedback, uh, mm -hmm. of course, when you're in this space of comedy, there's a lot uh -huh. of people who react and yeah. you said uh, you don't care about the negative criticism. Yes. Uh, what, what do people tell you sometimes, you know, when they see your stance and on, on social media? Because you, mm -hmm. you mentioned you also have a YouTube channel. It'll tell us uh, yeah, yeah. the name of it uh, and even the social media. What yeah. are some of the con co comments and mm -hmm. the sentiments that people tell you? Mm -hmm. Okay, for like... Uh, People do tell me like, like you are unique, you are different. People tell me we like your videos. Uh, you do crazy stuffs. Uh, keep um, keep making more videos. Such comments. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, not the dark. The humor. only the dark <laughs> uh, I, uh, the dark side. I only got one comment from my channel, and that was like, you are an Indian girl, a Muslim girl, and you are an actress. Mm. You see? And I'm very sure that comment was from a relative. Wow. Because I really fought hard for this, you know. Um, to be who you are. Yeah, because it wasn't... Um, An first, I fought hard for, mm. for the gym stuff because okay. they what were like happening? in our like, culture. What were the barriers in between? Sorry? Okay, the, the barrier obstacles? was... Oh. Uh, okay, them days when I was a trainer, mm. uh, when I started doing the training and everything, my mom and dad really supported me, but the relatives were so harsh on me. You are a girl, you're doing gym, you, you, you girls should uh, just stay at home. After completing high school, you have to get married. I said, like, I'm going to do what I want as long as my parents are supporting me and my parents are feeding me. So you're nobody to say uh, to tell so like uh, it was too tough because they spoiled my name like I'm trying to be a man I'm doing gym so from gym I did acting and in terms of acting uh, they were like oh she's having many boyfriends look she's mm. acting with this she's right. acting with that oh all of them are his are her boyfriend visibility and being yeah like they were just people. so negative about me and right. mom told me like you know I don't. I really don't like uh, these negative uh, comments from the family. Right. So it's better you quit mm -hmm. acting. Then I told mom like, I really cannot quit my talent for people who will not help me in future. Yeah. yeah. So wow. mom said, Are you not afraid of uh, your name being spoiled? I said no. Mm. I'm not afraid. So I continued doing it. And when they saw me on Churchill show, they were really shocked. Like. How did you get there? 
Right. Yeah. And now they're loving it. They're like, they want to associate with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like, nope, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait for me until I win and I want. Not really. I'm like, okay, come, yeah, here. Okay, what I can say, um, pride is not my cup of tea mm -hmm. or arrogance. Such, no. Okay. I always attract what is positive. Right. Yeah. Because I can only imagine, you know, fighting those obstacles to, mm. to, to have this personality that yeah, you yeah. have and keeping up with all those negativities uh -huh. and still keeping a clean heart yes. and staying mentally pure. Yeah. yeah. It, it's a gift. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Thank Truly, you. Truly. I, I think so. Thank now, you. Now, uh, uh, a good question. Uh, uh -huh. Still, it's International Women's Month and yes. recently last week we celebrated it. What do you think about that and, you know, you being a woman, of course, uh -huh. you know, you're vulnerable as yeah. well already. Yeah, yeah. They were bullying you, mm -hmm. all these comments, and they're coming directly from the people you're connected yeah. to. How do you feel about it? About Women's Day? Yep. Okay, concerning Women's Day, I never celebrated. Why not? Because uh, what, like, I was just thinking, like, who? Who just came up with that idea, uh, like, this date is for women? Because every day is a Women's Day, yeah? And all like every day is a women's day, and like there's no specific day to celebrate it, right? Yeah, because women do a lot, right? Yeah, so wow. it's not part of it, yeah. So yeah. For, for you, it meant nothing, it didn't yeah, mean it that, meant nothing. you know, yeah, yeah, big part, yeah. To Even like Valentine, I normally think, like, so that 14th is uh, for loving, the rest of the days, yeah. Yeah, so Good I really don't <laughs> celebrate those. Good question. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. Now, when it comes to the comedy industry, it, it's very diverse in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And from your experience and what you've managed to accomplish for yourself, mm -hmm. what would you say is your take out from it in terms of your mindset as well, the experiences mm -hmm. you've encountered? Uh, if you were yeah. to answer that, what would you say? Okay, like in future, I want to, I want to, like, okay, first, comedy makes people laugh. And it can also change people who are stressed. You know, someone may, may just be at home stressed and watch, watches your video and he or she just laughs, you know. At first, you also, I guess you get, uh, what can I say, like good deeds or tawab from God because you made someone laugh, yeah. So you're helping the community. Not only that, um, comedy and acting, like... Uh, I want to become like one of the best actors in future. Right. Yeah, and maybe I come up I come up with my own acting school because there's no acting school. Right. Hmm. Like a uh, school specifically for acting staffs and all. Right. Hmm. Are, are there maybe like uh, comedians in the industry that you'd look up to? It not just limited to Kenya, yeah, even. Yeah. Uh, I love Priyanka Chopra. Uh, oh. I, I'm, I'm sure you know her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she got married to, I uh, think, uh, somebody, an R&B star from somewhere. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. yeah, uh, are there maybe like the, from the Indian community as well that you look up to in, in comedy? Okay, in comedy, what I can say, we cans are so funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because most cans are crazy. Okay. Yeah. I, I like, in short, our whole family is funny. My mom, my dad, ever joking. Right. Hmm. So are there, like, any that you look up to, specifically that you can pinpoint the names and say, this one, she's funny or he's funny? Okay, Mark I normally watch Mackenzie comedy. Oh, Mackenzie, the Nigerian. And he's, like, my role <laughs> model in, in comedy. Emanuela. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mackenzie, the Emanuela, Mackenzie himself. Uh-huh. Yeah, those people are best actors, best ten. Uh -huh. And others, yeah. Uh, internationally? Internationally. But anyways, can I manual Okay, there's international Sam Speedy. Though? I also love Sam Speedy videos. Uh -huh. I love watching Nigerian comedies because uh -huh. they're so amazing. Okay. Mm. Now, uh, s speaking of amazing, uh, your experience on the stage as a comedian, that mm -hmm. <laughs> just like any other day, there's rainy days yeah, and there's yeah. good days. Yeah. There's a time you can crack a joke and people mm -hmm. roll their eyes. Mm -hmm. They're like, yes. girl, you are wrong for this. Yes. Uh, how do you navigate through a day when, uh -huh. you know, you're not hitting the pinnacles, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And the times when, you know, it's all, yay, it's all fun yes, and games. Yes, yes. You know, how do you kick it? Okay, for that, uh, I know, like, okay, let's say I, I cracked a joke and maybe people did not laugh. First, I will just continue with my content because when I am on stage, I don't focus on people. I focus on my content and how I produce it. Right. Uh, so 
maybe let's say after finishing I realized like people really didn't laugh and mm -hmm. so next time when I sit down I I think of making it better and better yeah mm. do you like do you sometimes go and cry in a corner you're like oh my goodness they never laughed and the way you prepared no. a whole night like yeah, yeah. you transnighted <laughs> okay the only thing I can do uh -huh. I cannot cry uh, okay I can get maybe I can be in less moods but I go drink some coffee coffee is my type of drug okay. I drink some coffee um, and listen to songs and it's gone that's yeah. how I that's how I release my stresses right mm. which is which I feel like is a safer way yeah to do it. or I can do meditation uh -huh. uh, yoga meditation or I can go to the gym and do some crazy stuff and I forget yeah mm. and you get back your energies yeah by the way I want to tell you something Please about do. myself there's a mistake I ever did in life and mm. I, re I regret you still regret till yes. right now you know uh, okay in Islam and in Christianity mm -hmm. we both believe that before eating you have to pray yeah yeah why Mm -hmm. Good question. Why should we have to pray fast before we eat? But tell us at the comment section at hashtag and why in the morning. Yeah. Is it mandatory to pray before you eat? Yeah. Good question. Okay. Yeah. In Islam, we are told if you are uh, uh, not like if you are eating, you have to pray before you eat. And if you don't pray before you eat, um, the devil is eating with you. Oh, that's certain. the belief now. Yeah, certain. Some of the beliefs yeah. around it. Yeah, certain okay. is eating with you. And I guess maybe same for Christians. So, uh, like, after realizing in Islam, we are told if you eat without praying, Satan will eat with you. Uh -huh. One day I thought, like, okay, Satan is my enemy. And when I don't pray and I eat that food, Satan will eat with me. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I did? One day uh, I looked for poison. Ah. I kept in my food. I said, today I'm not going to pray because Satan will eat with me and my enemy will die. So I ate the food. What? And uh, guess who fainted? Abu, hold up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up. Let's, yes. let's backtrack Kidogo to let's, uh -huh. let's go ahead like two points. Yes, yes. Numa. What poison and what food? My food? Okay. In Islam, we are told if you don't pray and you just eat without praying, Satan will eat with you. Like okay. he will eat with you, in short. So. I, what I did was to, because I know Satan is my enemy. Right, I, true. Yeah. Well, who so wants I, to I be looked for, <laughs> best friends I with looked Satan. for poison. I said, <laughs> right. let me poison this food. What Today poison my was enemy. this? Huh? What poison? Like uh, rat and rat, rat, rat plus, yes. Oh my goodness. S is a, is, is a detergent. Yeah, I used rat and rat plus jig. And oh I don't know what goodness. I was like today. Satan is going to die, die and we and live we, you alone. Yeah, we live happy forever. Oh so my I goodness. did that madness. And, and next time you are feeling yourself, you are waking up in Hosi. No. You said you fainted, Ama. They just perpetrated you like, and you. I fainted, but I realized I'm the Saturn. Wow. Like, I was the Saturn because I was trying to kill myself instead of killing the Saturn. You know, I'm, I'm trying to, to put myself in that scene. Like yeah. in, a, in a movie, in now in real life, mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to like, now let's eat poison. Let's mm -hmm. see if Satan is going to die. But now mm -hmm. it's me who is dying. Yeah. And then coming back to my now normal life, I'm like, yes, I'm the devil myself. <laughs> like, okay, that means. How did you put that up? <laughs> because I was too harsh on myself. I never thought like, if I eat this food, I will also die or something bad can happen to me. I only thought of the, the enemy. All right. The enemy will die. So instead of the enemy, goes, guess who died? Uh, like, who was almost going to die? Please tell me it was comedy and not like real life. It might be, but I have no idea. Let's wow. ask uh, people on comment Guys, section. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? But as you marinate on that one, as you marinate on that one, uh, what are some of the stereotypes that come with mm -hmm. you know being um, a comedian of your style and mm -hmm. and, and and your your race because I understand there are few you've mentioned even in Kenya there's so yeah. many few of yeah. your descent and you know we also had somebody close saying you're Indian yeah. and you're doing this yeah. what are some of the stereotypes that you feel the day you'll get that you know uh, mm -hmm. platform mm -hmm. you'll first of all have to do away with them so that you keep it clear in people's minds that yeah. you know you don't have to think of me like this yeah. and just in case there's any other aspiring comedian or a person who has yeah. your type 
type of personality, yeah. they won't feel same type of way, or it will be a safer space for them to take over. Okay, what I can say, since it's a talent and I'd like to spread it, then I have no problem with that. Okay. Yeah. The stereotypes that you face, like what people say a lot, especially not family now, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not family now, yeah. like in the domain. Okay. What people normally say, like, oh, she's uh, our Indian actress. She's she's funny. She's uh, she's our comedian. Like they do motivate me a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right. And this makes me want uh, to make more and more videos. All right. Yeah. You mentioned of the mistake that you still regret. And yeah. I'm like, wow, oh my goodness. Yeah. Why did you have to do that to yourself? Come I on was, now. I was yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, being funny is a gift. Yeah, the gift yeah. of gab is, is God given. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like yours is manufactured or it was inborn? And, and you had yeah. mentioned that. But yeah. now, when you figure to a place like you have to commercialize it, uh -huh. yes, I'm coming to do this dangerous stance. Yeah. But now, how am I shielding myself from the aftermath of it? Okay. Okay. Like, uh, in can you come up again? Or I, I meant, uh, uh -huh. yes, I'm coming to do this dangerous stance. Yeah, but yeah. yes, I'll be affected. But here's what you have to do to protect me. Yeah. Amma, you'll just take jig, and if you die, you die. <sighs> okay. In when it's acting, you you don't use. Uh, let's say, okay, when you're doing a content like poison. You yeah. don't use real poison. Okay. Yeah. But the story was something else. It wasn't acting. Okay. Yeah. Because even the, the video you're doing, you know, mixing all those two full stuff. That one was real. They definitely will spoil your stomach. And you... Yeah. So f do you, like, go for health checkups? I'm a no. You're, you're immune? No. But nothing? Nothing. Because, okay, I did nutrition, basic nutrition in okay. the fitness industry. And I know how to detoxify my body. All right. Yeah. I can... I can I can drink blended spinaches for one week, and you're still fantastic. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but uh, actually, like, uh, let's say poison, you can't really try it uh, in real life. Yeah. Yeah, but this stuff that I mix, I'm used to them. Right. Yeah. yeah. So like you're taking a bullet and shooting yeah. yourself directly. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, comedy also, you have to put up pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand you have to go through a creative process where you're imagining yeah, these yeah. shocking stunts and you yeah. come with them and you pull up and people are laughing. Yeah. How do you get into that creative space and have your creative juices flowing? I get happy. Uh -huh. I get more courage and like, it makes me feel so special. Okay. Yeah. Because like one day, um, I was just walking around Mombasa and I had uh, children coming to me and saying like, Nia, ye, nia, ye. So I was like, what did I do? Did I wrong anyone? I was shocked at the first time. Um, I asked the kid like, what did I wrong you? They said, no, we saw you on YouTube. Uh, so you're the one, right? Uh, like they were so happy. Some were giving me sweets, some were like hugging me. Yeah. Right. And it made it really melted my heart. Right. Here I am. Wow. Now, if, if people want to access your comedy and maybe uh, uh -huh. get to check you out, uh, are there like, do you have like social media platforms before I ask you a quick fire question? Okay. I have um, YouTube and TikTok at the moment, as well as Instagram. I use Anju Khan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's where people can as find my you on social media. Huh? Right. That's where people can find you on social media. Yes, yes. Anju Khan. Right. A N J U U again then K H A N. Right. Yeah. Should we play a game with you? Uh, I wanted to ask you very, <laughs> uh -huh. a very crazy, a uh, very crazy question. Uh -huh. Would you go? Would you choose truth or dare? Okay, I choose truth. You choose truth. Yes. Okay, if you're ready, then uh -huh. here we go. Mm -hmm. Now, I, your 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 fear factor. What scares you the most? The ocean. The ocean. All right. Uh, if if you were to tell the the if you were to tell the first person that you you say I love you all the time, mm -hmm. what is the strangest thing that you tell them? Are you okay? The strangest, the strangest thing. Yeah. Okay. Very strange. I won't be, hey, uh, 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 no, please don't say that. <laughs> the strangest okay. thing you tell them. Mm. I can either okay. I do tell them like. You are my golden necklace. You are my Lamborghini, Ferrari. Because I normally say, like, why do people call uh, their lovers with cheap names like sugar, honey, for what? 
right. those things are so cheap to be called yeah okay so i use something like limousine my ferrari my lamborghini my, lamborghini, my, my diamond necklace my bentley yes yeah. mm -hmm. the full names of the person you called fast today in the morning check your mobile phone right now go mm. on your dial pad and tell us the full names of the person you called okay. today okay 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 i called my mom her full names uh, you're, you're easy to say her full names her full you're names easy. yes yeah, yes do. her name is uh, shanwar semikan begum okay I think we'll leave it. The rest are so dirty. Yeah. <laughs> the rest are so dirty. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, but if you're willing to say this, well, let me okay. tell you. Let me it's tell okay. you. Uh, yeah. If you were to say your ex's full names on, uh -huh. on TV, your ex's full names. Actually, I don't have an ex. Oh, my goodness. You did it well. You did it well. You did it well. <laughs> Thank you. You got it a thousand. You got it a thousand. You got it a thousand. Thank All right. You. Uh, you, you said your social media. Before we take a look at uh, the comments very fast, uh, please. Mm -hmm. uh, your social media again, where people can subscribe to a YouTube channel. You have a TikTok as well? Yes. Okay, please say it very fast. Okay, for TikTok, it's Anjukan76. Okay. And YouTube is just Anjukan. Okay. Instagram is Anjukan2. All right. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you're doing very soon that people should wait out for? I think I, it, uh, yesterday I just dropped a video. Okay. Um, uh, between, uh, like it was between me and uh, Victor Naman. Okay. Ujinga wa Victor, I hope you yeah. know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was training him how the to Luria eat uh, banana and masala. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now how do you mix the <laughs> please <laughs> <laughs> don't kill me right now. So so let's go yeah. to a magic wall. Oh, really magic, yeah, sure. A magic wall. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's select some of your comments and what are people are saying. We had asked you good morning. You're watching. Well, we're in the morning with the rest of the trio. Nifudgani, where is the Archa Kula? The mm -hmm. first one, Brahma Boki, I say my chapati makes my diet complete. Okay. Wow. That is Brahma Boke Kedi, Christopher Mboya and Asema Parker. Okay, oh. so. <laughs> <laughs> Riza Shani and Asema tuned in from Bondo. Shout out to you. Benito Masai and Asema, good morning. Uko kwa Gideri Sao. Gideri is oh. good. Uh, Kaka By the way, Usha why mix Gideri na, na Matoke. Iyo vitu wa na changanya, uh, like, like in like cooking. I edible, Matoke yeah. and Gideri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In cooking, uh, una, like wana itanga Gideri Pro Max. Okay. Yeah. So that's our last comment. <laughs> Mary Maturin and Samatuna from Gidurai 45. I love you, Val. Hey, Val, you have so much Thank love. You. County 03003 Kaloleni is the location. Thank you so much uh, for that. And I think we can call it a day yeah. from that. Thank you so much, Andrew. Welcome, for I appreciate it. Uh, just in case next time you have something crazy again, please no problem. don't forget to pull up to the situation. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. All the best. Sam. So, thank you so much for watching. My name is Brian Sarko. See you next time right here on Y254 channel. Enjoy. Why two five four? Ima.